Seeing understanding of large-scale 3D point cloud of an outer space is still a challenging task. In this track, we provide large-scale 3D point clouds of street scenes for the semantic segmentation task. The street 3D dataset is provided by Sacramedium Technology, where we selected 80 3D point clouds for street scene and manually label them. The point clouds are recorded using both a panoramic image capturing device and uh, with Lodia HDL32 leader sensor mounted on the car. Each point cloud represents a street scene and contains a group of objects. Objects are labeled into five meaningful classes and an extra undefined class. Only the five meaningful classes will be evaluated. The 80 3D point clouds are randomly divided into training and test sets, with 60 for training and 20 for testing. We also compare our street 3D datasets with other well annotated outdoor 3D point cloud datasets. As shown in Table 2, our street 3D datasets provide less dense but more scenes for outdoor 3D semantic segmentation tasks, the size of which scene makes a trade off between precision and productivity. Our contributions are summarized in two points. One is that we provide a large scale well annotated 3D street scene point cloud datasets. Another is that we call for different algorithms evaluating on these datasets and help finding solutions for large-scale 3D point cloud semantic segmentation. We have four groups participated in this track. In following minutes, we'd like to introduce each method one by one. The University of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria contributed in this track with the progressive four-stage urban cloud classifier method, P4UCC. Unlike the other proposals, this method does not use of learning approaches, relying strongly in clustering and covariance feature maps instead. It aims to detect progressively the proposed classes one by one using four detectors. The process starts by looking for the ground points and continues with the small classes, cars and poles. Finally, it separates the remaining points between buildings and vegetation. Each detector uses only the unclassified output of the precedent ones. In order to detect ground, minimum height and density grids are computed. Each cell corresponds to a square meter area of the cloud. The cell with the larger density is used as an approximation to the car position. Points close to the minimum local height are clustered. By determining the inclination angle between the cluster centroids and the car position, it is possible to determine whether the cluster belongs to the ground. The inclination angle is compared with the estimated slope of the terrain. For car detection, an Egenson feature map is used to discriminate the points to be analyzed. After a clustering of such points, planarity and area descriptors are computed per cluster in order to determine whether they represent cars or not. To find the poles, a omnivariance feature map is used instead to discriminate the points for clustering. Per cluster, descriptors of curvature change, minimum height, dominant component and deviation of the xy values are computed. These descriptors allow us to determine which clusters represent poles. The remaining points are clustered as well. Additionally, a recursive algorithm based on M. Lesac is used for extracting vertical planes on these points. Clusters which include a majority of points in one or such planes are considered vintage. Otherwise, they will be considered vegetation. After this step, the final output of the method is returned. We are part of PSL Research University from Paris in France, and we proposed an algorithm called a spherical DC net. Semantic segmentation is performed for point clouds using only geometrical data, X, Y, Z. The process relies on 2D projections, spherical projections, and bird's eye view. The proposed algorithm is divided into four steps. First, 
coarse ground detection from bird's eye view. Second, spherical projections and feature extraction. Third, train a deep learning model with 2D images. Fourth, post-processing and back projection. The first stage is performed by means of quasi-flat zones algorithm proposed by Hernandez and Marco Tewi in 2009. It allows us to reduce the typical class imbalance in urban point clouds. Then, in the second stage, we compute a spherical projection and calculate the features to train the model. During the challenge, we selected five features, C coordinate, depth, and the three components of the normal vector by pixel. In the slide are presented the computed features for one point cloud from the dataset. After that, we have trained a deep learning model based on a UNED architecture using 2D images with the points that have not been classified as ground from the first stage. Finally, we project 2D predictions back to 3D point clouds in order to improve the classification of some points, an automatic post-processing step to correct some of the predicted labels using mathematical morphology has been proposed. From obtained results, we highlight that we have obtained good performance above the baseline in four of the five classes, preserving a low computational cost. Even though we identified some drawbacks related to object size and shape due to sensor perspective. Also, we got a low score in pole class mainly due to the presence of traffic signs in a specific point cloud. We propose a method titled Residual Graph Attentional Networks for 3D Point Cloud Semantic Segmentation. Considering the fusion multiple point cloud size, we adopt a three stage procedure for the 3D Point Cloud Semantic Segmentation task. First, we downsample the large 3D point clouds to a fixed lambda. After that, the proposed real scan net is used for model training and testing. And then, KN interpolation is used to interpolate the raw labels of the input point clouds. Uh, finally, the results are used for evaluation. Our proposed red scan net has three main components, the residual graph convolution module, the attention module, and the graph pooling. I'd like to explain the three modules in detail. First is the residual graph convolution module. Our definition of graph convolution is derived from the discrete graph signal processing theory. In the theory, input data is encoded by two variables. X denotes the node information, and A is the adjacency matrix, which encodes the geometric information and is constructed from the X. The graph convolution with D degree can be formulated by a polynomial. In the formulation, lambda and W are trainable parameters. D is similar to the strand in CNN, which controls the size of a receptive field. When applying the graph convolution units, we found that there is a big gap between train and the test error rates. To alleviate this problem, we propose to use the residual black by adding a skip addition between the input and the output. In this way, the training and test uh, gap is elevated and the model is more robust. Second module is the attentional module. As attention has been successfully applied in many areas, the proposed graph attention module focuses on gathering information from important points. That is, the attention module tries to model point relations by finding out the importance of one point over all other points. In this way, we get the attention map with the values ranging from 0 to 1. Then we multiply the attention map with input features and help boosting the feature representations. Three steps are used for our graph pooling. 
Step 1, we use for this point examining to preserve the structure of poor point clouds by iterative selecting k points. Step 2, for each k point, k n is used to find the k nearest features, and thus we get a three dimensional feature matrix. Step 3, on the feature matrix, we use bus pooling to get the new feature output. It's worth noting that we not only reduce the geometric size of the point clouds, but also have a maximum feature selecting process. With about three key components, we build the ResNet for further training and testing. GrandNet is the deep learning-based method to perform 3D point cloud semantic segmentation proposed by Kiran Akadas and Shankar Ji from KLA Technological University, Hubli, India. Our GrandNet, which is inspired from RandlerNet, takes a deep learning-based approach to segment point clouds using only point coordinates. The input to our model is a 3D point cloud with n points. We apply grid subsampling as a pre-processing step and the result is passed to the model. The data class distribution is calculated to feed into the model. The model consists of stacked layers of dilated residual blocks that reduce the size of the point clouds incrementally while preserving the information. Dilated residual blocks are the building blocks of GrandNet where we use dilated convolutions as our basic operation along with local spatial encoding and attentive pooling. The result of this block is a more informative representation. The reduced representation is then upsampled while applying MLP to get per point labels. Grid subsampling is used as a pre-processing step to get a fixed number of points as input to our model. The entire scene is divided into grid of predetermined size as shown here. All the points inside the grid are then replaced with a representative point obtained by calculating the mean of all points. Dilated convolutions bring in an extra parameter that controls the receptive area of the kernel which convolves around the input by including holes or gaps into kernel as shown. Thus, without increasing the number of parameters, we increase the receptive area of the kernel over the input making the convolutions more efficient and faster while allowing us to capture multi-scale features. The results of our model are shown in the table. An overall accuracy of 97.83% is obtained with an IOU of 86.4. The predictions for some of the scenes can be seen in the following slide. To wrap up, we present an architecture for efficient segmentation of large-scale point clouds. We use downsampling of point clouds without loss of information to achieve this and dilated convolutions are used in our architecture to get a larger receptive field. Our code is publicly available on GitHub. Thank you. Five methods are under evaluation with a criteria of overall accuracy and the mean IOU. The accuracy per class is also calculated. From Table 3, GradNet outperforms all other compared algorithms. It also shows that for all methods, small proportion objects like core and pore are hard to be distinguished. From above results, we draw conclusions. First, among the four participating methods, GrandNet achieves overwhelming performance. It could be a good startup for further research on 3D point cloud semantic segmentation. Second is that the imbalanced data leads to imbalanced accuracy on different classes. Techniques on dealing with imbalanced class proportion should be considered. Third is that the four methods are focused not only on different architectures but also on different features which opens the possibility of combining some of the descriptors from each discussed proposal into a new architecture. The last is that more data and classes should be added to perfect the straight 3D dataset, which is also a future work.